we come in this service to God. In our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to God who had come to us in Jesus and who walks with us the road of our world's suffering. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because it is God who invites us to come. And God has promised never to turn us away. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are troubled, and I will give you rest. So come, you who are burdened by regrets and anxieties, you who are broken in body or in spirit, you who feel deeply within yourselves the divisions and injustices of our world. Come, for Jesus invites us to bring him our brokenness. Jesus heals the sick in Gennesaret. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. After the people of that place recognized him, they sent word throughout the region and brought all who were sick to him and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. We remember all victims of violence in the world and those who stand with them. Spirit of love, under your strong and tender wings, there is refuge for all who are exploited, harassed, patronized, demeaned and abused. Shield, nurture and restore us to wholeness and integrity in our personal and corporate lives. In your shelter, let us create a safe place to be ourselves to explore new possibilities, to share friendship and to sustain each other in the struggle for liberation. God of tenderness and compassion, like the people of Genesaret long ago, we recognise you and know our need for your healing. We believe that God is present in the darkness before dawn in the waiting and uncertainty, where fear and courage join hands, conflict and caring link arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God, who sits down in our midst to, sh to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond the safe place, into action, into vulnerability, and into the streets. We commit ourselves to work for change and put ourselves on the line to bear responsibility, take risks, live powerfully and face humiliation, to stand with those on the edge, to choose life and be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope. Amen. The names of all the people and places for whom prayer has been requested in the past week are placed before us. From deep within our being, we call upon you, God. For through you, all can be made whole. 
hear us as we raise to heaven our concerns for the people of earth. We pray for those who cry out in physical pain or who suffer silently and who long for the healing that human hands alone cannot offer. We pray for those who suffer mental anguish, who worry, feel anxiety and fear for the future. We pray for those who mourn, who grieve the loss of a loved one. We pray for those who are near death or fear death and for those who have made the last journey from life to greater life. We pray for communities in which people deal with violence, disaster or terror, hunger, poverty or pandemic, not knowing how or when their misery will end. We remember those who are victimised because of their race and for all who are abused, abandoned or degraded. God, you taught us to pray. So, in a moment of silence, we pray for those people, places and situations who tonight need to know you are near. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Maker, you call us to be your presence in the world. Hear, through our prayers, bring healing, hope and peace. Amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, enfold us, body, mind, and spirit, and heal us of all that harms us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Peace between nations. Peace between neighbours. Peace between lovers, in love of the God of life. Peace between person and person. Peace between wife and husband. Peace between parent and child. The peace of Christ above all peace. The peace of Christ above all peace. Bless, O Christ, our faces. Let our faces bless everything. Bless, O Christ, our eyes. Let our eyes bless all they see. Watch now, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight. Tend your sick ones, O Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones, soothe your suffering ones, pity your afflicted ones, shield your joyous ones, and all for your love's sake. And now may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, that we may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.